Hello friends! So in this video I am going to show you guys how I made my Ahsoka Tano headpiece or Liku. So this is mine. It's made out of upholstery foam. Um, it is a little dirty right now. Some like orange face paint on it because I did wear it recently. But yeah, so I thought I would show you guys a little tutorial on how I made this and you can kind of take a look at mine. Um, this is the back of it. So like I said, it's made out of um, upholstery foam and fabric and it's pretty flexible. Um, the little headband here is made out of EVA foam and then the little diamonds are 3D printed on there. And then I did airbrush it to paint it. So that is it. So you guys can kind of see how it fits on. So it just fits like a helmet, kind of feels like a hat. It's pretty comfortable. You have a pretty good range of movement. I mean, you could move more, but you know, like it might pop, start to like pop up a little, but yeah, very comfortable, very lightweight. So yeah, let's get to the tutorial. So first we're gonna start with our pattern and I'll leave a link to this pattern down in the description. I just wanna cut out those pieces and um, we're gonna now cut those out of some foam. So I'm just using upholstery foam. You can just get it at your local craft store. So once you have all your pieces, you're going to glue them together. And I just use contact cement and you just wanna apply it to each edge and then you wanna let it dry. And then once it's kind of like dry to the touch, you can start to piece them together. And then you can just kind of watch um, through this next section. I'm just kind of gluing all the pieces together. So this pattern did call for like a wire to go in this, this, so this is the part around like your face. And so you can put like a, a flexible wire in there to make it adjustable so you can kind of tighten it. So it makes the um, headpiece a little bit adjustable. So, so that's what you're seeing here. I'm just putting some glue down so that I can glue a wire in here and then we'll fold that over the wire and secure it in there.
So you can also add wires. Um, so this is where the, the little um, points, I guess the montrals, uh, but they kind of look like the little, the pointy parts. You could put a wire in there too, so you can kind of adjust that and almost make them a little bit poseable. So you can, you know, just tweak them a little to make them look just how you like. <laughs> So this is how it will look after you've glued all the pieces together. And so I didn't film a lot of this step because it was a little bit tricky, but I, what I did was I took some fabric and I covered the whole thing. Um, and I did sew it down in places and then also glued it down. So this is where I'm um, using that bar, that barge cement again to glue down some of the pieces. So I did, uh, originally I sprayed it with a spray glue but it didn't really hold the fabric down and the fabric was kind of popping up and bubbling. And so a lot of those places, I decided to just go ahead and use the contact cement. Um, so I sewed it down in places, but wherever it was still popping up and wasn't really securing down with the spray glue, I used the contact cement. And if I was to do this again, I would probably skip the spray glue because it just didn't work well at all and just go straight for the contact cement. Um, there's probably better ways to do this and some people sew it on completely, but I was trying to minimize the amount of seam lines I had. So when I laid my fabric down, I was trying to get as few seams as possible. So I was trying to like stretch the fabric over it and just glue it down as best I can. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of um, gluing down the pieces and then I will sew up the rest of the seams uh, by hand. And so you can see, this is what it looks like after it was all sewed together. And there are some spots that looked a little rough and so I wasn't sure how they were gonna turn out, but I still had to uh, coat it with some Plasti Dip and then also paint it, so. So yeah, this stage didn't look super pretty, but um, you can see I tried to hide as many of the seam lines as possible. And you can see where I had to sew it in around the edges. But a lot of that stuff gets covered up by the headband and of course the paint job, and a lot of that is the parts that is like up against your body so you don't really see it. Um, so yeah. Okay, so like I said, I, I did coat it with Plasti Dip and this did leave a strange texture on it. It almost looked like stucco or like a popcorn ceiling. So and it was very heavy texture and I had to remove a lot of it to make it look right. So this would be an optional choice if you wanted to do it. So you can see that texture there and that's after I removed a lot of it. So I sanded some of it off and I even used like a lint roller that, that turned out to be the best method to remove it. Um, and it still had a lot on there. And I feel like it looked cool in the end. It kind of makes it look like skin, but it is a lot of work to get it to like the right amount of texture. I would say if you did do the Plasti Dip, just don't use that much. Um, but so now you can see I started drawing on the stripes and then it was painted on with an airbrush. And I used leather paints for this. So uh, Angelus leather paints, I believe. I, I'll, I'll look at the colors and link them in the description. But it was just like a blue and a white and I wanted it to have like the softer um, edges kind of because this is like based off of her look in The Mandalorian. So this next part is the headband. Unfortunately, I didn't film that much of it, but it is made out of four millimeter EVA foam. Um, and I did find a pattern for that. I believe um, I'll link that in the description below as well but yeah so this is um the headband and i just kind of used an exacto blade to score in the lines and then with the, hit it with the heat gun to expand them and then like i said the diamonds were 3d printed and i'll i'll link that in the description as well and so here is some uh, footage of me wearing it around galaxy's edge at disneyland which was super fun to get to dress up as ahsoka and be at disneyland and yeah, so I hope you enjoy these photos of the finished costume. 
So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you want to see more of my costume builds, uh, I am going to start uploading more of those on the channel as well. Uh, so I do a lot of like costumes and cosplay stuff and I do plan on putting more tutorials and stuff on like that on the channel. So if you'd like to see that, just let me know. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, ring the bell icon, share it with all of your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video.